Hello chat. <clears throat> We're live now. Hello Rhino. Hello Octomath. Hello Master Shadow. Hello Kanan. Yoinkus. Hey Big Mac. We are being asked how we are doing today. Well, 
I'm alive. Take that as you will. Mostly my apologies. Meanwhile, I am sitting here in immense pain. Yeah, my stomach's giving me problems this morning. And I can't tell if it's because I'm still really, really hungry, or if just because my stomach is just being my stomach right now. Which is great. I mean, Rhino, it hasn't really gotten better because I haven't gotten a chance to see a doctor about it. Like, whatever is bothering me, it needs to be looked at by a doctor, and I have not had the chance to do that. Do you need a hug? Not right now. That's for sure. <laughs> I can't tell if my stomach wants food or if it wants to throw up food, so that's not a good idea. <laughs> Hello, Limbo. I'm turning down my music, it's a little loud in my headphones. Hmm. 
What are you doing? Turning down the music. No, I mean, like, what are you streaming? Oh, drawing. Oh. Same thing I've been doing. I'm not yet finished with the, the main world that I'm creating. <laughs> Dude, I love getting asked, oh, what do you plan on doing with this world when you're done? And then having the answer, I don't actually know. <laughs> I'm putting all this fucking time and effort into something I'm probably not even gonna use. It's great. I mean, you basically described my high school experience, but alright. I mean, apparently that's just my life. <laughs> You're not going to share screen. I won't see the drawing. I have one thing on the what toy box, and it's just a clown. Toy box, yeah, yeah. <laughs> clown lady. Well, I hope you had a good birthday yesterday, Linda.
Banana phone. Clinton. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that yesterday. One of the winners of, of uh, one of the game, or one of the awards fucking just shouted out ben Bill Clinton in their uh, acceptance speech. No idea what that was about. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> what? There's someone... It, you know how, like, Nendoroid figures there's, like, a number on it, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the number and, like, the name of the character... Someone was showing the Papyrus and Sans one, and they actually used the fonts. <laughs> oh, nice. It's cute. <laughs> Apparently that was just some random- Oh, if it was just some random guy that didn't even win an award, just got on stage and just shouted out Bill Clinton. Oh, the anti-Semitic kid. Oh, what, were they? Yeah. Apparently what they were saying was a, a anti-Semite dog whistle, and they were on Alex Jones. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on there. Yeah, that's what everyone's been talking about. Everyone's like, oh my god, the Bill Clinton kid's so funny. It's like, he's anti-Semitic. <laughs> I was just so confused as to what it, what even was going on. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, you know, you know, I saw something recently about Bill Clinton and... I actually kind of feel bad for the guy. Well, I shouldn't say I feel bad for him. Uh, it's really interesting seeing that side of a president. Because... What happened was, is that I didn't know, is that after he left the presidency, he took up painting. And not only did he make a speech apologizing for the war, he uh, paints portraits of the people that were lost in the war as, like, an apology. I think I remember hearing stuff about this, actually. It's fascinating to me. It's fascinating in the same way, I shouldn't say the same way, but in a similar way to learning that Ted Bundy saved a drowning child. In that it's Fascinating the layers of people. This is like I I truly believe that no person is one hundred percent evil. So, so it's it's very it's interesting to see when that other side does show up. I want to be clear, by the way, I don't think Bill Clinton's evil. I think he's a guy that got into a job that he shouldn't have. And the other thing is also just, the president doesn't do everything in the office. He's just the one that gets blamed for everything. Yeah, which is why, why it makes me wonder, why do people sign up for being the president? You are effectively the fucking country's scapegoat. Yeah. Why would you want to be that? 
It's because the majority of people that go into office know nothing about the office. <laughs> I mean, these are people that need help opening a PDF file. Well, you saw the presidency and how many stupid shit went on. I think that's the other thing that's interesting about the presidency is you see, I guess, how gullible people are. Whether it's they're doing it for power because they believe that they're doing something good, they're incredibly gullible for taking on the job. You think the FBI is gonna get mad? I mean, even if they do, what are they gonna do to someone that lives in Japan? I don't know, they can send another bomb, I guess. Good. Especially since uh, Trump lost the launch codes. <laughs> I don't remember if he lost the launch codes. I remember the most hilarious thing was... What was it? I think it was he stole files from, like, the office and hid them in his house. And then when they went to go find them, there was nothing in the files. And I think Trump Jr. was like, Well, see, there was nothing in the files. Like, no, that's worse. Because that means that you lost the files. <laughs> <sighs> You lost the contents of the files, you idiot! <laughs> what, what, who gay? Gay man. It's TP. You know what? No. You're TP now. I don't want to be TP. I don't even want to be TP. Because the, the he's not gender fluid. What about my gender fluids? You're not my gender. I want my gender. I worked hard for it. Have I ever fallen into Trump derangement syndrome? The what? The fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> I will say, it having time seen to pursue knowledge, having seen the the type of it is cultish in a way. Okay, Trump derangement syndrome is a pejorative term usually for criticism or negative reactions to former President uh, Donald Trump that are perceived to be irrational and presumed to have little regard towards Trump's actual policy positions or actions undertaken by this administration. The term has mainly been used by Trump supporters to discredit criticisms of his actions as a way of reframing the discussion by suggesting that his opponents are incapable of accurately perceiving the world. No. Oh, then I've never fallen into Trump derangement syndrome because that's not a thing. <laughs> it's just an ad hominem. It's what it is, yeah. Hmm. I. It's so weird to me how people, and this isn't even just with Trump. It's with like a lot of celebrities. I think the most prominent one that I remember was like the Justin Bieber 
phase was how people can become so obsessed with a person and create a like a cult it's a cult it, i'm not even going to sugarcoat it it's a cult it is a cult Like this, this absolute worship over a very mediocre human being. <laughs> worship over like. I don't know. I, I I'm not gonna finish it. Uh... I'm cold. Yeah, I mean, I'm cold. Do you want to be TP now? I'm cold. Mm -hmm. I, need, I need like three messy monsters. Oh, you don't want me around. I have my air conditioner on in the middle mm -hmm. of winter. Oh, well, you know what I, you know what else you have that I need? No. You got a nice pair of arms. Got a body. You can give me a hug. <laughs> Dude. I've been dying for a hug in the last, like, Eight months. I've been dying. Oh. Say. I was dying last night for a while. I woke up at one and I was like, all right, time to go back to sleep. And then my body was like, no, you're dying. No, you're dying. You're dying. No, 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 no. You're dying. And I was like, am I? And it's like, nah, I'm just joking. Yeah. The kid yeah. got arrested? Yep. Good. Yeah, I wasn't sure what was, uh, I don't- You weren't here when I was explaining it earlier, but I wasn't sure what the fuck was going on. I think that, that was- anti games win anti-Semitic prizes. Yeah, I didn't even know that that was anti-Semitic at the time. I just heard something, something Bill Clinton and was so confused. Man. Also, choose the uh, Kianta mug. Nice. What do you need? I just said nice. It's what? Yeah, it's nice. No, no, it's what you need. This is what. This is what. This is. This is what you need. How the kids need pass security? Good question. Easily. He was just in the crowd, and walked, and while the rest of the Elden Ring guys were walking on stage, he just kind of followed them. Up until that point, everyone else just kind of assumed that he was a part of the team. What kid? I... There was a there was a kid that, that snuck on stage during the Game Awards. And apparently, uh, screamed into the microphone an anti-Semitic dog whistle. Mm -hmm. Something like that. <laughs> oh. Thank God I can think- I can count on Rakanox. Rat, 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 rat count. The guy who makes Bayonetta content. Did I see TP's reaction to the kid? That, was TP on my stream by that point? I don't think he was. Yes, I was. You were? But I don't okay. Also reacted at the time. I'm also a huge fan of people also... asking why did Genshin Impact win and then the Genshin Impact fans responding, it deserved to win. But, but why was it eligible? I've never gotten less answers. So that is 
I assume it's actually PlayStation Impact. I have no idea why it was played either. Powerful Camo. Oh, it's because it got updated this year. That's so stupid. Then why isn't Team Fortress 2? Why wasn't Fury? Yeah. Because I think the update was for... Because the updates for Genshin Impact was an entirely new region. It wasn't just okay, like... Okay, the, the, the fucking update for Fury was an entirely new character. Like, it's a, it was a new way to experience the video game. I'd say that's pretty substantial. Like, Genshin was the only... Yeah, uh, only game on that list to have been nominated for that. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that rule is fine as long as other things get to use it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, Terraria should have been a nominee since it got a huge update. Minecraft. Did Minecraft get updated this year? Mm-hmm. Uh, we got the the wild update this year, I think. Mm. Unless that was late last year. I don't remember. Dokkan Battle could have gotten updated. We got version Z this year. Well, yeah, we got version Z this year. That added a bunch of fucking quality of life changes. It, it, asshole. Wobbly life could have gotten an update. <laughs> could have gotten on the list. Susie, let's be real. Rob, wobbly life wasn't allowed in because it was sweet. It was sweet. Hmm. Dude, I'm surprised at how fucking like active wobbly life speedrunning is. Why isn't Ultra Kill there? Yeah, good point, Ultra Kill. Wait a minute. Now, wait, now I'm actually confused. Because Ultra Kill has 100% positive reviews now, right? Since they added sex. Does it? Well, it, it's gonna take a minute for all the fucking negative reviews to go back to positive reviews. <laughs> oh yeah, Nezzy, did I- did, were you informed of that? Were you informed that we now have a video game that has sex in it? Mm. Yeah, Ultra Kill now has butt plug support. You can sync the game to your butt plug, and then the vibrations in the game will vibrate your butt. You know that's a real thing, right? Yeah. I, why I said they did it. <laughs> they did it so that people would stop asking. Because mm. all the, every single negative review of that game is good game, but I wish there was sex. So then they added the sex update. It reminds me of that one game. I think it's a phone game. It's what was it? It's like kind of like Flappy Bird. Except you insert, it's only for women, but, cause it's supposed to be, um, well not women, it's specifically people who have, um, well, it's not a vagina, it's like a specific part of that, but you insert it and you squeeze in order to make the character jump, and it's supposed to help your body, because you have to exercise that part of your body. Oh. Uh. Cervix? No. That's all, I, did, I, did, I don't know the specific word for it, but I know that there's a person on TikTok that has a special thing where she'll play a song and you have to like squeeze to the beat of the song it's highly if you have a vagina it's highly recommended that you do that to exercise man
Can you imagine if, like, for men, they made, like, a weight and you had to, you had to, like, lift it with your penis? Like, like, uh, like the arm weights? Mm -hmm. You know people would do it, though. And it would be hilarious. <laughs> it's like, hard, soft, hard, soft. There was there are there is an audience for that. Man. <laughs> oh look, I know Andrew Tate fans love his dick, but come on now. I am going to die. Yo, same? Yes. Same. How about we all die together? I would love in. a suicide pact. <laughs> suicide pact? Suicide pact. Yeah. Suicide pact. Like, Where it's like, instead of like, hey, when we all reach 30 and none of us are dating anybody, let's all get married for the pure purpose of one companionship and two having insurance. Mm hmm. That way we can all know. And then, when we all reach 40, then we do the suicide pack. And that way, when we all, when, when, when you, when all, the three of us are fighting over the last chicken nugget and we have our Mexican standoff where we all die. <laughs> we would. Don't, don't act like we wouldn't. Not for chicken nuggets. Okay, then what would it be over? I don't know. Like... French, oh, like, like, you're like a the shitty Latin sandwich. Right. You fight like over a garbage sandwich from, I don't know, Carl's Jr. <laughs> you you guys are fighting over a non-kosher burger, and I'm just I'm just shitting. I'm I'm just fucking killing myself with a gun because I want to feel included. <laughs> Somebody named their Pokemon Public Bus and sent it out and now they get notifications saying Public Bus defeated a Murkrow? Nice. So it makes it seem like they ran it over? Oh no. Uh, of course, that's how you, that's how you play Pokemon. Pokemon. God. Listen, I all I'm saying is I have no problem with Genshin Impact winning as well as the fans are like, oh no, we cheated. 100 percent we cheated. Shake hands. Cause like why would you not be proud of that? Why would you not be proud of cheating the game awards? What is not to be proud of there? <laughs> Like, oh no, uh, we completely earned our legitimate. No, dude, own what you did. Say it with your whole chest. And fucking claim your victory. What? Do you know what I would do if I cheated? I would get up there on the mic, grab my award, and say, I cheated. Because unlike people who don't know the age of consent, I have testicles. I think it's hilarious that I sat there and I was like, Fire Emblem has a more diverse cast than Genshin Impact. Fire Emblem has more unique animation than Genshin Impact. <laughs> I remember Fire somebody was like, oh my god, the new Genshin Fire Impact has black people. It's like Fire Emblem, or not Genshin Impact, Fire Emblem. It's like Fire Emblem has had black people though. Fire Emblem yeah, can also. Yeah. There's also. Yeah. There's also. There's also. There's there's also like a like a pretty good chance, at least a a seventy to eighty percent chance that a character could like that that someone could pick out a thick character out of the lineup instead of just a stick. Yeah. Um. Hilda's in three houses. Nephany is in fucking. Uh, what's it, a path of radiance? And I'm not saying she's thick. I'm saying she's an impenetrable wall. Yeah, no, it's. Lavia. 
no, no, I think no, her name on. was Flavia as in fucking Awakening. Hold on. Genshin Impact fans scare you? Guys, they finally scare somebody! Whoa! Genshin and Genshin Impact fans when they see um a breast. Whoa. No, you know what it is? Genshin fans and Dragon Ball fans are the, have the exact same definition of thick. I need to find a fucking picture of Chi Lai from DBS Broly and how fucking like Dragon Ball dickheads are like, oh my god, Chi Lai so thick. My because favorite. She, like, puts her ass the screen. My favorite thing is that Cookie Run Kingdom has more skin color, culture, and body diversity than Genshin Impact. <laughs> TP, I'm sorry, we're we're not gonna stop dicking on this game. You like? <laughs> I'm I'm really sorry, buddy. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> And, like, I know that I've talked about my stance on this, but I still think it's funny that in comparison, people also actually start thirst over characters that are adults. <laughs> in Cookie Run Kingdom, in comparison to Kitchen Impact. <laughs> there are also, like, a ton of characters that, like, uh, that, are, that are also adults. Yeah, but let's not ignore the fact that Paimon was the most popular for a reason. Emergency food is a vor fetish thing. No, That's what it is. Like, where do you think that came from? Let's not forget the fact that Paimon that... is the is the one character that almost everyone knows about, primarily because of the fan base behind it. Because she's the mascot, like, and, and because well, I'm I'm and saying because. Emergency... And and because she looks like she's five. It just means cute, you know, like um TP, don't act ignorant to this type I'm of thing. I'm not saying people I'm not saying people there aren't people who don't do things. I'm saying I'm saying, I'm saying it's kind of a, it's, I'm saying, assuming it's for pedophilic reasons, it's, it's just, it's mostly for that, it's also kind of not true or fair. I'm not saying mostly, I'm not saying mostly, but undeniably a good chunk of it is. Mm -hmm. And I know that because a bunch of women complain about it. As a point against the the fucking the uwu girlification of Ghost from COD, because a bunch of guys were like, "Oh, you sexualize this character, ruin it for me," when we have an entire list of characters that got ruined because of sexualization from men. That's my point. I'm not saying that all Genshin fans do that, but let's not lie to ourselves. And say that a good chunk don't. It's the let's reason not, why it's a running joke. Let's not lie to ourselves and say that all albatross. It, let's not say that all albatrosses aren't birds. Not all birds are albatrosses, but all albatrosses are birds. Anyway. So that's what Chile looks like. You can all tell me if that's thick or not, with like two C's. No, that's not thick. With uh, what about thick with one C? Roxas, that's no. a twig. Yeah, that's my point. Um, like there's a bit in the movie where she like pulls off the or not she, she like stretches the armor on her tits and then snaps it, and everyone's like, "Whoa, breasts!" And then she like turns around at one point and because she is not facing the camera you can see her ass and everyone's like holy shit she's so thick and i'm like you guys are fucking like deluded i mean you think dragon ball is good so like obviously that's true but
Where's Tutter Mouse when you need him? Probably getting ready to go to work. Or is at That's work already. Cringe. That's cringe. I want to give him a smooch. But man, Tutter Mouse isn't here. Who else will I smooch? I mean, Nezzy's right there. I'm glad you said that, so I didn't have to say. I said, who would I smooch? I need two blankets and a delightful little guy. I need to get off my ass and sort shit. I I don't know if I'm going to give stuff away or if I'm going to sell it because I, I kind of do need the money at the moment. Anything that doesn't get sold, I'll donate. Hey. To the, to the base. I really don't like how you said I need the money and then my brain was like the money. <laughs> Oh yeah, I called you Mouse of the Great Beyond. That was badass. You like descended upon me like sorry, I was like a little gone for a while. And I'm like, no. Oh, we can now be a pair of silly gooses. Also, um, Nezzy, I gotta show you a little clip later of me entering the call last night after the, the Bayo Zero got announced and me just yelling to piss on me. <laughs> it was awesome. Someone in the chat's asking, what do you think about the Mario movie clip that was shown at the Game Awards? It's fun. I'm still split on Chris Pratt as Mario. Saradus, you've returned to us. Yes, it is me, Saradus. I need I need to step out for a minute, I'm sorry. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Uh you were throwing immense amounts of shit at that thing you love. <laughs> yeah. I wanna be clear, by the way, it's not even just a problem with Genshin, it's a problem with like People. any piece of media ever. <laughs> Because be honest, people are it's... gross and weird. Listen, Let's be honest, PT. it's especially bad with American anime fans. Oh my god, Let's hey guys. Let's be perfectly honest, it's especially bad with anybody that fetishizes Asian people. Let's that's why I said American Asian- That's why I said American anime fans. Let's be honest, guys. <laughs> There's a reason why Bayonetta 3 won Game of the- won Action Game of the Year and not Devil May Cry 5. Because the worst that, that, that Bayonetta 3 did was have fans who didn't understand the story and can't comprehend the fact that there are alternate universe realities of your lesbian ass where you're straight. Um, but, uh, at or least there was bi. no incest. She's not a lesbian, she's bi. No, but she liked a girl, that means she is a lesbian, because bisexuals aren't real, uh. I would love she to not be real right now. Literally in the first game, 
She says, I don't like babies. Making them, on the other hand, is a different story. That's the biggest lesbian I've ever heard in my life. Totally not bisexual at all. Okay, yeah, partially, you... partially, that's kind of hilarious because I have seen gay people go like, put a baby in me, and then the partner's like, um, we may have a problem. <laughs> oh my god. Someone fucking drew V1 on a bed with, is that blood or, yep, nope, those are rose petals in the shape of a heart. Now draw her getting an education. Uh, it, the, the, the last scene of Bayo 3 is Viola being like, there's no school today, I swear. Also, by the way, this isn't even the first time. Well, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say shot on. We critiqued the game. It was um, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> and I, I saw the post that you, Susie, that you made is like your video game opinions. And I was yeah. like, I was kind of sat there. I kind of wanted to put my input because the thing is right. I I love Mystery Dungeon. I do, but it is incredibly flawed. <laughs> you know, I, I love how many people were just like, "Oh, I disagree with X Take." It's like, yes, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, that is the idea. I am aware that most people disagree with this take. That is why oh, you asked what my niche video gaming opinion is and you don't agree with it? Wow, it's almost like it's a niche video game opinion. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you that. No, 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 I need to know which one got the most amount of uh, disagreements. Uh, Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> yeah. It was either Mystery Dungeon or Sicker Star. No, Mystery I... Dungeon. Surprisingly, weirdly enough, when, when, uh, when I posted it on, on, uh, Twitter, people didn't jump out of my case about it, which was interesting. The other big one that people uh, disagreed with was, uh, I think Saints Row actually was the other I think. I th but no, Sticker Star, Sticker Star people either said that they didn't have an opinion on or they actually agree, which was interesting, because if I say that anywhere else, no. <laughs> if I say that anywhere else, I'm gonna I'm gonna get jumped on. You'll have to like defend yourself for like an hour straight against a ton of people that would attack you for your opinion unprovoked. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because that literally happened on Heat and Stream. The yeah. last the last Heat and ah. Stream that I was on. I was trying to subtweet. Oh, I don't care. I talked about it on stream. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a reason I haven't been I haven't been on those streams. It's cuz I'm not in that chat anymore. Yeah. Where the fuck is that niche video game opinions tweet? I don't <laughs> I was just looking for it, because I was not sure which which of the five takes I put it. was disagreed with the most. Oh, right, Balan was also disagreed. It was the, it was... Balan, Deltarune... Oh, it's the worst game. Yeah, Balan, Deltarune, and Explorers of Sky were the, the three big ones. Saints Row had a couple disagreements, and Sticker Star was people either didn't have an opinion or they didn't actually disagree with. Which is interesting, because really... that's, that's the opinion I've had to defend the most over the course of time, so I, I don't know, man. My, I don't I can't know. really think of any particularly, like, niche video game opinions. I, I'm trying to, I was trying to think of what opinions I had that were just whatever, you know? I mean, I have one now. Mm -hmm. Well, I have, I have a couple now. Which is, I think incest is cringe. 
that's a that's a pretty hot take. The fact that it's apparently a hot take is the problem. But but no 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 it's 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 okay to like it because it's um it's them it's the, it's, it's 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 the fictional incest. Like here's the thing. I don't I don't care if you like fictional incest. Keep your fictional incest away from me and don't try to convince me it is the right way to enjoy a series hot take fucking white women if you're a white woman and you say you like devil may cry i don't trust you if you're a person and you say i don't like and you say you like devil may cry i don't trust you because I'm either going to get yelled at for how badly I play by some fucking, like, middle-aged dude who's, like, thinking about how to grab my dick, or fucking some white woman who's like, you know, if Dante and Virgil fucked each other right now, despite both of them being ace and both of them being brothers, um, fucking, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And the lady are right there. Lady and Trish are right here. I love how people are like, oh my god, Dante would fuck Virgil, but he wouldn't fuck, uh, he wouldn't fuck Trish because she looks too much like his mom. That would be weird. But then why Virgil, his literal twin brother? Because white women weren't born with brains. At least when it comes to media literacy. Uh, even J.K. Rowling. If you want to disregard Trish because she looks like Dante's mother, Lady is right there! Lady is hot. She's got heterochromia. Dude, I just think it's really funny that, like, early <laughs> earlier on, you had said that if I had liked Devil May Cry, uh, that was, like, a sign of the Pepe Sylvia or some shit. Did I? Something along those lines. No, no, no. No, no it was if, if Dante was cool. If I thought Dante was cool. That was, that was what it was. Right, yeah, yeah. If you think Dante is cool, you're a lesbian. <laughs> and now here you are. It's like, oh, if you if you like Devil May Cry at all, it's like, eh, okay. Oh, you can like Dante. That, liking Dante? I don't have a problem with. He's a very likable character. Absolutely, you can like Dante or Virgil and be fine. However, you like, if you I like... ask you what is your favorite character action game, and you say Devil May Cry, and I ask why, and you say because of X and X guard flying, or because I want the two brothers to have sex, I will kick you in whatever balls you may or may not have. Mm. But if you're like oh, Dante's fucking hot then i'm like yeah whatever sure true oh no water is wet if you try to dirt emoji me right now Susie doodle tones i'm gonna throw you in a wood chipper oh please do that's not a threat okay if you um <laughs> if you try to um actually me i will make you uh perform self-care right, good luck with that one mm-hmm Good luck with that one. Very, yeah, I, I, I bet I will have good luck, seeing as my luck in general is incredible. Because if I'm not playing Pokemon, then my luck is basically 100%. As long as it's not tied to a video game. Okay, I was about to say, so how's that Dragon Ball treating you? As long as it's not a bit. Hey, there's a huge difference between uh, being unlucky and being abused. <laughs> Susie, I'm not gonna come home from work one day and then get beat by my girlfriend and be like, darn, I'm unlucky. I guess I should have walked in the door better. No, it's called the inevitable. I have come up with my response to the what a, what's a video game opinion that will have you like this. Mm. JRPGs are fun. You used a really controversial word in that. And now I see it. Now, because you said JRPGs are, and I'm like, yes, I know they're good. I get it. Fun. Ooh. Because like, ever, I never understood the criticism. It's a, you just do math. You, you. I so. <laughs> okay. 
I've got okay. I have my answer for that question, and I'd like to know yours. I don't like JRPG combat when it's turn based purely because it is not frenetic. Like, if I want to chill out and play like Pokemon, then yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm not playing Pokemon for for combat unless it's like Showdown. But like, in something like say traditional Final Fantasy or just general turn-based combat, um, I usually find that, like, oh, I pick the right answer, and then I do the thing, and then I win, and then I move on to the next regular enemy, keep going until I reach the boss of whatever area it might be, and then turn-based combat. I, I guess I just don't understand the fun aspect of turn-based combat, like, where the, the the like the dopamine comes from because i play games where the dopamine comes from like that cool f- that that cool fucking move you did that took three hours to to figure out how to do okay let me ask you something do you like chess i think i figured out your answer because <laughs> i i i love the concept of chess i'm a horrible at chess i am the worst at chess in human history you can because literally I... beat me with your eyes closed because that's the thing about jrpgs right is that i always like the aspect of the story i prefer story in my games i also prefer turn-based combat one because i love strategy i love actually thinking through with my plans especially because even though I appreciate the games that you play as it helps my hand-eye coordination, it does stress me the fuck out. And Damn, I feel crazy. bad when I can't memorize the moves, and then I panic that I can't memorize the moves, and then I don't end up memorizing the moves because of that panic. So when it comes to JRPGs, I like to have everything laid out in front of me, everything be concise and organized. I like the aspect of strategy. I like the aspect of customization through armor, checking stats, and I like math. I like math. You know what? I am not going to say the response to that last part <laughs> I wanted to because that would be offensive. What I will say is does this also apply to um, more actiony RPGs, such as the Mario and Linguini games, or Xenoblade. I say Xenoblade. No. Okay. Because yeah, when I have to play it in time with thinking, then uh, then there's not there's not a lot of math to it, unless it's me counting the amount of times in which I have to hit something. Which is always three, for the most part. Yeah, I mean, depends on what RPG you're playing, I suppose. Because I've, I've, I've seen Xenoblade boss fights go on for like eight years. <laughs> I don't play Xenoblade. Oh no, it's just because you said like hit him three times, and I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I. Wish oh no, that you were talking, I thought you were talking about Mario. Oh, oh no, I meant like um like Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, where like. You, um, you, 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 you take turns picking your moves, but, like, you're, um, like, you press the button at the right time to do more damage or something. Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, platformer Mario. No, I like the Mario games. I played Bowser's Inside Story. I think it's a very interesting mechanic. Got I especially it. like the strategy. That's why I like the turn-based strategy aspect of Paper Mario and the Origami King. It's because it added an extra incentive in a way that was um, in a way that was uh, uh, that didn't overwhelm me. Which was uh, the, um, the patterns. Spinning puzzles. The, the puzzle the puzzle uh, platform system when it came to the the battles organizing all of the enemies into a straight line so that you can get better attacks mm-hmm. 
the boss fights were also very funny because they were just. I'm a huge just... fan of Jay. <laughs> they I were. I think the most hilarious one was uh was <laughs> was when we fought the scissors because I missed an attack. Uh, well, I almost missed, and Susie and I were like, holy shit. And I've never been so stressed, nor did I ever think I could be so stressed, fighting a pair of scissors. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of how they have, like, realistic explosions when they die. Oh my god, that shit is the funniest thing in the entire world to me, is just having a cartoony art style with a realistic explosion. No, you know what's, I, um... you know what's even better? Hmm. And stock image explosion. Yes, yes, yeah, stock yes, image explosion. Yes, that's why so Deltarune good. is the best. Um, <laughs> I have a um, I have an example of RPG combat for like, well, because I what was it in No More Heroes three? Uh, when you fight Sonic Juice, um, he's like, man, I don't want to play you in a fucking character action game. I want to do an RPG. And Travis is like, I don't like RPGs. Final Fantasy six suck dick. And Sonic Juice is like, well, fuck you. It's Final Fantasy VII rules. That game changed a generation. And then he's like, you, but the characters look stupid. And then Psycho, uh, Sonic Juice has a, a fucking mental breakdown. And then I forgot exactly what Travis said, but it's something to the effect of you can like whatever you like as long as it's not RPGs. And Sonic Juice says, you really are a crazed psycho killer. <laughs> but then you fight him in an RPG and it sucks. Like, it's really bad. Like, it's super poorly made. But you can kill the command windows. And that ends the fight early. So stuff like that with RPGs, like, one-off RPG mechanics will always tick me off unless you do some stupid bullshit to make it, like, not just turn-based combat. Um, like, no, you know what? Better example. Uh, in Super Paper Mario... There is one JRPG boss fight. There which is one, one? turn-based fight, which, and it sucked. Which Paper Mario? Super Paper Mario, the one that has no turn-based combat. Mm. The platformer one. The one where you play as Mario and Luigi and Peach and Bowser. Super Paper Mario? It's, it's the best one. Um, but yeah, you fight <laughs> these chain chomps, and for some reason, it's an RPG, and it looks awful, and it plays really bad, and it's dumb because they don't like the the three guys have all different complete immunities but you're never told what they are at all like rpg mechanics to me are just like hey, what do you mean what, what do you mean you didn't know that he was immune to fire what you leveled up your fire oh dude that sucks for you dude Man, no. that's, that's a real big crown read the strategy guide next time dickhead no you um, want to know my you want to you know my least favorite example of that Tell me. Kingdom Hearts. Mm. Oh, you mean you took? Oh, you mean you took magic as your ma as your main priority? I. Mm, I hope you don't mind not doing any damage to any of the to to, to many of the late uh, late game bosses, i.e. and some Riku. <laughs> Dude, I fucking. There's a Dragon Ball. Um... Uh, action RPG. People call it a fighting game. It's not a fighting game. Xenoverse is not a fighting game. If you think Xenoverse is a fighting game, play a fighting game. Um, it is an action RPG. Um, but, like, that is a game where if you don't bring the move that kills people and instead try to, like, diversify your move pool, you die. <laughs> you just die instantly if you don't have, like, the thing that kills people. Because then the boss will just do all the, like, undodgeable moves that kill all your gauges, and then you die in a combo because you didn't use the move that stuns them. Out of the 700 moves. <laughs> God. God, Dragon Ball games are all terrible. Every single one of them is bad. What Name me a good Dragon Ball game, you can't. Um, 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 um. Legacy feel... Goku 2. I was about to no, say, I, I got it, I got it. As, as someone who actually, as, like, uh, the, so I, I was gonna no. bring up, I was gonna bring up one of the SNES games. No, no, 
No. No. Abby, I know a good, I, I know a good Dragon Ball game. Which one? Dragon Quest Eleven. That's a JRPG. The best Dragon Quest. The best Dragon Quest. But yeah, no. Uh, the the SNES games weren't that bad. Were they not that bad today? I I would say they're fine. All right, well then, fun. Um, I uh, what was it about? Oh yeah, I was gonna say fighters. Um. I was talking with Marvelo about this because he asked me what was your first fighting game and I said dive kick and he said I have never heard that answer before what was your first fighting game and I was like ah Skullgirls and he's like uh, did you play a ton of Skullgirls I was like no nah, I played a little bit of Robo Fortune and Beowulf because I liked their costumes and then I picked up Dragon Ball because it was Dragon Ball it's like oh you like Dragon Ball no that game sucks that game sucks dick that game's awful that game's mm -hmm. a horrible piece of shit Lab Coat 21 is in that game? Yeah, I, I sure bet. You know what we need? We need an, a Smash Brothers All-Star game. Where we take every Smash character that has topped the tier list and put them at their most broken state in a game together. 64 Pichu, Melee Fox, Brawl Meta Knight, Smash 4 Bayonetta, Kazuya... Steve. Broken. Joker. Steve. So okay. So <laughs> it's so okay. It's Smash Four. It's Smash uh, Sixty Four Pikachu, Melee Fox, um, Brawl Melee Meta Knight, Me Melee Brawl Meta Knight, Melee. Smash Four Bayonetta, and then five of the Smash of the Ultimate DLC characters. <laughs> I thought Cur Kirby Sixty Four was also like broken too, right? I don't know. Like, wasn't he, like, top was of... alright. Wasn't, like, Kirby and... P uh, the Kirby and Jigglypuff, weren't they, like, the, the top two, or...? No, it was no. Pikachu. Pikachu was the best character in that game. Because it was all about how do you recover, and Pikachu had the best recovery. Mm. And also, just, it was a, a stupid small rat. Which always helps Pikachu. Dude, we're also missing, uh, we're also missing Marth Scrap from Melee. <laughs> It's just Marth's arms. You pick them on the select <laughs> screen, and it's just his arms. Oh wait, no. There's also um. Jigglypuff from Melee as well. Oh, true. Yeah. Uh, ice climbers from uh, was it Melee or Brawl that had wobbling? Melee. Yes. Dude, when are we gonna get wobbling life? <laughs> when are we gonna get the game that's just about chain grabbing? But. Yeah, no, the, like fucking ice climbers were stupidly busted in one of in one of the Smash games. I can't remember if it was Melee or if it was Brawl that had the fucking wobbling it was or melee. wobbling or whatever. Wobbling. Yeah, I um. What the fuck? Oh. I can't believe it was Jerma's last stream. Anyway, what is Jerma streaming today? <laughs> Bisexuals already had their fun. Now it's time for the bisexuals to win. Ah, uh, yeah, the Hades. Hades nuts. I'm still disappointed that they didn't call Hades to Persephone. I'll never not be disappointed by that. It's such a missed opportunity. Once again, Splatoon. There, Splatoon. What was the one that was came up yesterday for Spl uh, Splatoon 3? Do you remember?
I think they said Splatrio, but I mean, I don't think that works as well as Splatoon, seeing as that is Splatoon. I could really go for a fucking blanket sushi right now. You know what I could really go for? My ass? I feel you can get the best on that one. Uh, you know what I could go for? My ass? Yeah, well, I wouldn't be going for it twice. Not in a row. Hmm. <laughs> I could go for a fucking knife in my septum right now. No, not your beautiful septum. <laughs> but also, that wouldn't kill you. That would just break your nose. I'll find a way to like teleport the knife into in in there, okay? No. Well, if I put it deep enough. No. Anything. How about this, Nancy? I'll really... just take your nose, and then you'll have you'll try to breathe through it, and then you'll suffocate. I'll I'll hit you with one of these. Still... If I can still breathe through it, then I wouldn't suffocate. But you won't be able to breathe through your nose. I will have it. I, I no, I'd still have the, I'd still have my mouth. No. Oh, well then just don't breathe through your mouth. Just go like, oh. I'm so confused by this bit. I don't know either. I just want death. <laughs> Oh yeah, you've had sex? Well, I've had enough. I haven't even had sex. Yeah, sex is cool, but have you ever... ...gotten a really good game in Tetris? Dick is alright, oh. but you ever tried filling your mouth with the word of the Lord? Dick is fine, <laughs> but have you ever taken a whipped cream can and just sprayed it in your mouth? I'm a huge fan of how he said dick is alright. Like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's passable. It's there. The word of the Lord? Mm, dude, I, dude, I imagine sex is fine and all, but have you ever tried garlic bread? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not garlic bread. Garlic bread with cheese on it. Like a little bit of parmesan. That's Parmi the shit. <laughs> Big Mac, you are asking what is better than sex to a call with at least two asexuals. <laughs> I don't know what you're expecting out of this. Yeah, dick be alright, but damn, popcorn is pretty good. <laughs> dick is okay, but you ever tried getting sneezed on? <laughs> Sex is cool and all, but have you done a shiny Pokemon? I think that was my favorite fucking, um, my favorite bit. It's like, Arcane one. Oh, well, I mean, why would, what, what did Arcane have that could give it a win over the fucking Cuphead show or Sonic 2? Oh, there was that well, one season where fucking Jinx sneezed on that guy. Nah, fair enough. I'll mm. take it. <laughs> Yeah, Dick is all right, but have have you ever tried murder? Dick is okay. Have you ever had, tried hanging out in a nose? Have you ever have you ever thought to give murder a shot? Just just a quick stab, just an itty bitty, you know, just a quick little 
just a little bit. Just yes. a little bit. You ever thought about the giving murder a good old college try? Mm -hmm. I'm just like, sure, sex is fine and all, but uh, have you ever tried speed running? Yes, it's called sex. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you can create Actually, sexual you can create sexual archetypes without ever having sex. It's called Fastest Mario. Susie, did I ever tell you that I actually like I did speedrun sex? Uh <laughs> No. I don't think so. Yeah, back when Boston. Speedrunning still... just sounds like a really sad way to say <laughs> masturbating. No, it was it was with another person. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest <laughs> Mario. I know all the cheat codes. It's my fucking body. Well, yeah. First of all, Nezzy, I hold the world record for masturbating fastest and fastest sex. Um, so fucking you, you can just you you can just take that to the bank. Um, but yeah, no, like I um. I, I was I was with Bossy at one point and she's like, Do you wanna fuck? And I was like, mm, I'm not feeling it actually. I don't I don't no, I'm not I don't wanna And then she's like, What if we timed it and you saw if you could beat your time? And I'm like, You got it <laughs> My record was four and a half minutes. But that also included foreplay, so hmm. He's like, I could have, uh, I could have done more if I just did the four place camp. <laughs> <laughs> I could have gone to the bathroom and skipped that myself. <laughs> a A B B plus to skip. Four play. Up up down down left right left right B A start. We'll skip four play. You get straight to Boner Town. <laughs> out, out of that, it's Intercourse City, and there you go. This fucking. <laughs> I love the idea of like a dude slapping his dick against a wall to find the no clip. Yep. <laughs> like, come on! <laughs> the funniest thing is that I actually managed to click once in a while. Like, it was a really good trick. You see, oh my god, Susie, have I ever told you, by the way, about that, that joke? It's like, clitoris? Isn't that the dude who flew too close to the sun? <laughs> oh, that implies that someone would be able to find him. Okay, okay, so, so, so first you have to take a 30 degree angle. Then you just, like, you just do, like, ran walking forward, ran walking forward, eventually... Damn! You're- you're- <laughs> It's- It's been the one in half! Yeah, actually, there's a really cool trick with me. If you sneeze hard enough at me, I will actually clip out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Try it. <laughs> I will fall through the earth. It- yep. It will- it will actually- it will actually- you ever uh, think about if you speed run sex, that brings a new definition to the word getting bricked? Ouch. Christ. Dude, brick the save. What about speed running life? You might want to go to a doctor about that. Okay, I have a question for you guys. Mm. You're all American at some point, or in some way, shape, or form, at least half. Mm hmm. Did any of you guys have yeah. or experience the stereotype of girls don't have blank respiratory function? Like girls don't fart? Oh. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm glad that's I'm not insane. I remember the talking to be a... I remember the college humor uh video about it. My mother yeah, has gaslit me into thinking that she doesn't, and I have never, in all of my 22 years of being alive, have caught her doing it. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I was telling B last night, because I was, we're gonna hang out today and, and watch a, a Pokemon video for old time's sake and get really, really high. Um, but I was like, oh, I need to show you more of those fucking Bayonetta forms, they're all fucking super hot. And then she was like, hell yeah. We went back and forth talking about Bayonetta, and I was like, you know, 
I was talking about this with some friends, but I don't think Bayonetta can sneeze. And she was like, how and why? And I'm like, because she falls into that type of perfect woman that where like she doesn't have respiratory functions anymore aside from breathing. And I had to explain the like the kids stereotype of girls don't fart to to be. And she was like, hmm, you Americans are fucking weird. <laughs> Okay. I mean, we uh, are. Yeah. I think I've ruined a song for myself. Good. Because, <laughs> guess, guess what the song is, first of all. Um. Wap. No. What is it? Take, take another guess. Um, I just saw the worst tweet. Uh, d d Uptown Funk. No, it's the point of no return from Phantom of the Opera. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Cause <laughs> there's a there's a line in the very beginning of it, right? Uh, the set the trap awaits for its prey but he doesn't say prey he pronounces it as pre uh oh <laughs> dude <laughs> film of the opera has like ruined me at, at, like at, from childhood why why is that have I never told you that I'm afraid of sitting under chandeliers? Oh. <laughs> Have I ever told you the why? <laughs> I, you don't gotta explain it to me. Yeah, that scene fucked me up as a kid. I prefer the Count of Monte Cristo, which made me fear the possibility of going to prison. <laughs> you want to see the worst tweet I've ever read? Sure, hmm. there's a lot of those, so let's let's hear the worst one you've read. WTF is 9-11, this pronoun shit is getting out of hand. <laughs> 9 slash 11, that's great. Actually... <laughs> that's not nearly as bad as some of the tweets I've seen. That's, that's tame. It's a pretty good bit though, actually. Like, mm -hmm. it's really funny. Man, I will see, is it... It's, it's like, is it really that... Is it really that hard for trans folks to come up with a good trans joke? Fucking, we do it all the goddamn time! <laughs> we make jokes out of it. My race. favorite one. My favorite one was when it was this person on TikTok. I think, I think that they're M to F. And their friend... I think the context of it was that their friend came out F to M and she had given him like her old clothes and he had gotten her old hairstyle from pre-transition and she explained it and he went yeah I found your gender in the garbage and now it's mine <laughs> Yeah, we constantly make jokes at our own expense. We, we like, transphobes, it's not that hard to make jokes at, a, at our expense. And have them be funny. My favorite one was when someone posted, someone tried to be transphobic about a per, a, a woman going into the, to the women's bathroom. It's like, oh yeah, I'm sure they'll be real accepting when you, like, flop your cock out. It's like... Do you go to the bathroom and just pull your pants to- I'm pretty sure if you went to the men's bathroom and just whipped out your dick, you'd get the same response?
Like they're stalls. I mean, in men's bathrooms, they're just urinals, but... I mean, still! You don't just stand in the middle of the bathroom and whip your dick out. At least to my knowledge. I don't really use public restrooms that much, so I couldn't tell you. I avoid it as much as I can. Yeah. No, uh, as, as a of... it's like, I, I know, I know you're technically not supposed to, but like, as a child, uh, whenever I was like, at school, I would, I would just hold it for the whole day. Man, I, it is like, oh, are you doing it because of the, are you scared? It's like, no, it's because public restrooms are disgusting. They're disgusting, and, and it, for me, it's because they're disgusting, and I don't feel comfortable going in them. Also, I don't, I don't like the idea of someone hearing me pee. That too. <laughs> it's like public restrooms, they're a necessity, but they're the worst. It's just my biggest fear is when people bring their kids in and they don't watch them and their kids crawl on the floor and look under the stall doors. I've never had that happen, but I hear stories about it and I'm like, I, that, that, mm. Also, the toilet seats are freezing. It doesn't matter what season you go in to go to the bathroom. They're freezing cold. And who knows how many asses... Why this talk? I mean, it may just happen, Big Mac. This is, this is what we call the natural progression of conversation. We go from anti-Semitism to public bathrooms are gross. Anti-Semitism is bad. Mm -hmm. And so are public restrooms. <laughs> It's like, it's a Venn diagram. <laughs> it's a Venn diagram. <laughs> of public restrooms versus anti-Semitism. <laughs> and the middle part is a little bit bigger than we expected it to be. <laughs> it's like, it's a graph. It's a state of progression. You know, I just tuned in just to figure out what you guys were up to this morning. I was not expecting a Venn diagram between anti-Semitism and public restrooms to be brought up. Well, However, I mean, they're both yeah. pieces of shit, so... Okay. They're both awful. At least people, at least people are, played, are paid to clean public restrooms. <laughs> well, people do get paid. Well, actually, no. Dealing with anti-Semitism is a vigilante justice. Yeah, but it's not paid. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> it's paid for. You get paid punch. in the satisfaction of yeah, punching. Honestly, I was about to say, honestly, if people got paid to do that, maybe more people would care. Hmm. Yeah. That's the Fair worst enough. part. <laughs> no. Well. God. Mm. I think money can That's change better. people's minds. Well, man. <laughs> I mean, I would just tax. I would just give an anti-Semitic tax, honestly. <laughs> oh, I'd give a bigotry tax. In general. You know what? Base. You tax unwanted behaviors. You want to be racist? Give me your money. <laughs> your possessions yeah, are now then, forfeit. Yeah, but then you'll have, like, the, the you know, 
the, the people are just like, oh, I'm not paying taxes now because uh, it, it, freedom of speech is getting impeded on or some shit. Okay, 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 all right. Yeah, okay, you say that. However, comma, this is a... Uh, uh, so we just fund the IRS to its glory days. Back when they were the scourge of the 1%. <laughs> Dude, did you guys hear that apparently the fucking FTC um, has... has a, a, who's a real stickler about antitrust things? At the freaking FCC. Aaron. Yeah, what's up? Can you imagine? Good news. The F the dude running the FTC. The FTC. The FTC is a stickler for antitrust nonsense. Finally. Antitrust. So, you know, I just think it's so funny how like the FTC was made to destroy antitrust shit until they got paid a million dollars and go to the sex island. Well, yeah, but that's kind of all. Like the government is supposed to help the people until they got the the a million dollars in the sex island. Yeah. My yeah. Have I mentioned how much I hate rich people today? <laughs> uh, well, no, but now is your, your start for the quota. Man, I hate rich people. <laughs> Dude, I was saying this to my mom. I was like, okay, here's the plan. We get the shit, we get the, the companies to pay for hospitals, and then we get the, the shit zillionaires to pay for everything else. I just want to get rich so that I can give you guys money. Well, you see, I... you're not thinking like a rich person. That's why you'll never be rich. You don't get rich by spending your own money. You don't get... Yeah, that's why, that's why the Rebbe had nothing. You get rich by avoiding your taxes and being a parasite for the American people. Wait, hold on. For the people that are around you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's not just Americans. There's, yeah. there's rich people it's... in other places. It's yeah. commonly Dude, Americans, though, at least currently. Yeah. Would I literally eat the flesh of rich people? No! Do you know where they've been? They're not human! <laughs> I would... Yeah. Well, yeah, no, then, you then, you don't have to, then you don't have to worry about acts of cannibalism. No! No, it's filthy! Do you know how much you would have to prepare that? And it's like, it's like, it's, ugh, oh, gross. <laughs> yeah, hey, joke's on you, not kosher. <laughs> Also, jokes on you, the psychological after-effects of eating rich people would be so detrimental to your brain that it would outweigh any possible positive to you specifically. Just take their money and make them destitute, and then force them into the society of which no. they made. <laughs> no, you know, because, Aaron, do you know where all their money is? Well, depends on the person, really. No, do you know where all their money is? In uh, a Scrooge McDuck style bank. No, no I wish. Cayman you know Islands. Where? No, do you know where it is? Wasn't it mentioned in the Panama Papers? There isn't is a it? bunch of. Oh yeah, they are using so... that as a borderline money laundering these days. So, here's what you do: <laughs> the easiest way to eat the rich is to blow up their houses, not the ones they're in, the ones they own. Uh, because hmm. then you then you save the one they're in for last. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the pro here's the problem. We do need houses. We do Oh yeah, you can you need houses, but you know what they need? They need the money to rebuild them. No 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 because like here's the he's like here's the thing. Like <laughs> the problem is like the problem is that they've treated housing like a monopoly. We can't just get rid of it by destroying the supply because the amount of time it would take to rebuild it, there would be a gigantic house well. I was gonna no, say that there would be a bunch of huge homelessness crisis, but we already have that. But that's not yeah, gonna not fix only, it. Yeah, no. Not only would there be a huge homelessness crisis uh, already, but if you destroy all of Elon Musk's, let's say, forty homes, that's forty homes of forty rich people. But like, no, I don't. I. I'm trying. There's probably a much more effective economic solution. Than blowing then up their houses. Blowing things up? No. That their house. Well, this isn't the military, Avi. This isn't. This isn't the American but, military. Yes, but it's America. It is America. 
This is a This is America. Don't catch you slipping out. Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> Hey, Look what I'm you know, hey, you know how people say, why don't homeless people just get jobs and they won't be homeless anymore? Do you know how hard it is to get a job if you're homeless? Do you know how hard Did it is to get a job? Do you know hey, how Aaron. many homeless people do have jobs? Damn it! Nezzy, I was gonna say, like, the, I was gonna throw out the statistic! Oh yeah, <laughs> that is, oh yeah, the, the affordability of houses is so, like out of the loop now did that you know accountants are becoming homeless now accountants did you know that 45 percent of all homeless people in san diego have full-time jobs yeah that sounds about right did, did you know did, there is a... that uh, i hate the living the world we live in dude there was literally a story not all that long ago about like uh a, a dude that like got a job and was still like living in a tent, and they fucking, like, took the dude's tent and, like, tore it down and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man! The second you're homeless, you are subhuman to these people. You... If we can call them that. <laughs> it's because the, the Reagan fucked everything up, created a message, created an image that all homeless people are drug addict, alcoholic, that they're the epitome of the war on drugs. Ah, so the actor is gonna preach to us. <laughs> so that the what? The actor is gonna preach to us. <laughs> yeah, a little known fact. Ronald Reagan was, before he was the president, he was an actor. It's the 80s. He probably did that fucking announcement after sniffing cocaine. And yet... Ray is like, man... If there's one U.S. president I wish to erase from history, it be Ronald Reagan. Would... God. Let's put this, let's put this into perspective. What was the thing I said yesterday? It was like, all Americans have, a, have a, the same opportunity. Um, that was before Reaganomics. <laughs> yeah, basically. Reaganomics is a poison pill that has devastated this country and we've never recovered. Oh, wait, did I say this country? I meant the world. <laughs> because America... Because unfortunately, America is, unfortunately, the most powerful nation on the planet. Whatever America does, it has ramifications on the world stage. Especially with all the invasions we do. Especially. Heavens. See, I need... I wanna find... Hey, is that like a... Is that like a demon girl? Door. Yeah, don't worry about it. Anyway, um... Yeah, I wasn't worried... I wasn't worrying about that. I was just wondering. George Bush was worse than Reagan. I'll fight you on that. Oh, literally, yeah, no. name any issue. I found any issue. I could probably trace it back to Reagan. <laughs> By the way, I found which George Bush. By the way, I found uh, I found something that I was looking for. So, uh, the this this whole conversation about like the homelessness and stuff like that reminds me of um. Reminds me of a a bit by Greg Giraldo, uh, and I found the quote. Uh, it's, uh, we're in one of the richest countries in the world, and the minimum wage is lower now than it was 35 years ago. There are homeless people everywhere. This homeless guy asked me for money the other day, and I was about to give it to him, and then I thought he was just going to use it on drugs or alcohol, and then I thought, that's what I'm going to use it on. Why am I judging this poor bastard? People love to judge homeless guys. Like, if you give them money, he's just gonna waste it. He's just gonna waste the money. Well, he lives in a box. What do you want him to do? Save it up and buy a wall unit? Take a little run down to the store for a throw rug and a CD rack? He's homeless. I walked behind this guy the other day. The homeless guy asked him for money. He looks right at the homeless guys and goes, Why don't you get a job, you bun? People always love to say that to homeless guys. Get a job. Like, it's always that easy. This homeless guy was wearing his underwear outside his pants. I'm guessing his resume ain't all up to date. I'm predicting some problems during the interview process. I'm pretty sure even McDonald's has an underwear go inside the pants policy. Not that they enforce it very strictly, but technically I'm sure it's on the books. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I, um... Anytime I buy... I, I go to the store to buy one beer, I'll buy a couple more. And if there's any, like, homeless people, or if there's, like, uh, construction workers hanging around, I'll just pass him a beer. And be yeah, like, I don't, you, you know, 
Bruh. You know that the bars in hell, when they've literally made restrictions on giving homeless people just food? I, uh, I don't... The only reason I don't still give homeless people money when, when they ask is because I don't carry change on me anymore. Yeah, same. Another victim from the cashless society. <laughs> yeah, like, if I had cash on me, I absolutely would. Like, I... I like because again, like I'm I'm not using it for anything but food myself. Like, shrug. Hey, hey, Aaron. Yeah, what's up? I just thought of the dumbest argument in my life. There are a lot of them on Twitter.com. <laughs> no, no, no. This is the this is the one I want to start like a big beef with. How okay. is credit any different from crypto? It's not real money. It's backed by the government. But, it's uh, but, um, 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 but, 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 um, but my um, but my my coin has backing from three billionaires, which is more money than the government. My favorite <laughs> joke from Game Grumps. <laughs> my favorite joke from Game Grumps is they were playing like Wheel of Fortune. He's like, oh my god, I got $5,000! Wow, you can invest it into crypto and then get $3,000! <laughs> and then you can... <laughs> and then end up with $3,000! And then I can go invest in Elon Musk and end up with $200! <laughs> Dude, my favorite shit ever was when my dad stopped believing in the concept of crypto at all. And this was three years ago, so don't worry about it. Um... Because he was like, I want to dip my toe in and see where the scam goes. Because he's a fucking stockbroker. He needs to see where, like, like where where scams lie, what they do, and how, like, how people fall for them. It's part so of the that job. When people go, yeah, so when people go to him, he can be like, here's why you don't do this. Um, and he was like, fuck it, Ethereum looks at least decent. I could pro like, this one has, like, a decent, uh, like... What's it called? Uh, payout rate? Like, you can at least pay out with this one. And then he got hacked, and his uh, Ethereum got stolen. He's like, damn, I can get my money stolen when I'm not even doing anything. I'm never it's... doing... Like, I'm not... There's, there's no point in even, like, trying to see where this goes. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna fucking report it? It's not traceable. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's a date. That's... Yeah. When I yeah. heard, when I heard the term decentralized, I heard, oh, money laundering and illegal. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, 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 what is this? My dad. Oh, oh, the ghouls in the gaze. <sighs> Heavens above. Oh, is money a social construct? Absolutely. All accounts, yeah. Am I a social construct? Uh, well, if you want to be. The, no, the name is like, you <laughs> as a person are not a social construct. Your name and identity are. You're... I'm a social construct. <sighs> hey, everybody, party in my place. I'm a social construct. <laughs> social construct party. <laughs> Does that mean money isn't real? Okay, money is... All right, all right. So, man, are we? It's like we're really about to open a Pandora's box. The intersection between economy and philosophy. Technically, money isn't real. Money is only as real as we decide it to be. The only reason why our economy works the way it does is because we believe that it works. Now that's not going to last for long. However, comma. <laughs> um. As it stands now, yeah, money isn't really that real, but, you know, we believe it to be, and that's all that matters. It's a lot more complicated it's... than that. However, we do not have two hours to go into that. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, actually, the stream is, I'm just kind of wrapping up right now. Um, it's, it's, it, it, I do know that it goes, it goes back to, like, the days of trading and stuff like that, but yeah, in mm. any case... Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call that a stream. I don't really have time to do a fourth, or no, sorry, a fifth one. Um, I was about to say, I did a fourth one.
<laughs> so, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll return tomorrow, probably. Later, guys. Later.